Again, better energy. If you're watching this video, you probably already prioritize learning in your life. But I want to talk to you for just a couple of seconds about the types of learning that we do and how we can master them in a way that takes us from incremental learners to giant step takers in the domain of learning. So I've got this broken down into two categories, the small step method and then the giant step method, which I will reveal to you in just one second. How do we learn? Well, we learn by getting advice from our friends when our family members, we ask them, hey, have you ever done that? I've always wanted to irrigate my lawn, but I don't know how to do that. So I ask somebody that I know that knows something about lawns, but then I'm really just dependent on the level of education and how much they want to share with me in order to learn. YouTube videos, I might search through and try to find videos that are on the very specific subject that I want to educate myself on. But then again, I'm dependent on the context of what they learn and what they're going to deliver to me. And by the way, what they're going to sell to me. Okay. Google search or whatever search engine you want to use. I will search for stuff, but again, that's prioritized to whatever is prevalent and being really pushed by the actual algorithm of the search engine. Books. I might read some books on the subject and see what I can learn about it, but that takes time. Online courseware, school, podcasts, these are all great ways to learn. Now, they can give us some very specific information in increments on what we want to do. And we can go through and cycle through these things and learn and take them as verbatim and try to repeat every single thing that they do. And then are we going to have success in our lives and what we try to do based off of this education may be the fastest way. The way to take giant steps is to use all of this and do one thing, do challenge. and then do again. This is the giant step cycle. I take all of the advice and I glean as much information from all of the resources around me, but I challenge it. I see if it stands up to the test of what I want, what I want my outcome to be, whether or not the things that these things are telling me to do are valid within the context of what I'm aspiring to do or learn and see how I can take that the next step. One of my favorite phrases that I ever learned from Dr. Tim is this, maybe a higher level of thinking is dot, dot, dot. I apply that statement to every single situation I encounter. And I promise you it makes all the difference in the world because you know what's better than a really great truth? An even better truth. There's always a higher level of thinking, a more nuanced level of thinking, a more distilled, honed, professional level of thinking that you can glean from any situation if you apply the giant step method of learning to your life. And it applies to every aspect of your life, whether it's your professional endeavors, your scholastic learning, your emotional learning, your spiritual learning, your relational learning, every single aspect of your life that you have the capacity to grow and learn in will be better informed if you use the giant step method. Get out there and do. Don't wait on, oh, I haven't had time to do a Google search on how to do this, or I haven't, how many times have you put something together without reading the instructions? It's sometimes you make a mistake, but it winds up turning out okay in the end. It's the same concept. The doing is the most important part, but you have to challenge the results and see how you take it the next step. But look, don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Listen to what I say, challenge it, and improve upon it. That's the secret sauce to everything in life. Get out there and do it.